it's a politician talking about what should we do, riots in Copenhagen, uh, media uh, showing us a lot of uh, threatening futures, but who doesn't fit in? Regular person in his regular life, uh, living his regular life, life every day. What can I do? I'm not going to go to Copenhagen to have a riot, or I don't, I cannot. Uh, talk to these uh, big guys. Uh, quite a lot of people want to do something, uh, but there are different re reactions. Uh, roughly, you could say that uh, depending on the country, one third is interested to do something. The question is, what can I do? Uh, there's always uh, at least one third who is more or less. I don't care, I don't believe in this stuff, I don't think it's relevant. And then there's the third, how does it pay, pay back to me something? I, I want to see, if I do something, I want to see the money. So I don't want to save energy, although it would be nice. So uh, the US uh, uh, energy company is uh, uh, one of the best uh, companies bringing new solutions for, for end customers uh, propose that there's uh, so-called uh, 3C motivations. This is like the, uh, quite a lot of uh, US uh, presentations are built to a very small uh, simple message. But I, I like the message. People tend to think about uh, energy savings as cost or comfort or the good feeling of saving carbon dioxide, uh, dioxide motivation. So this is this is the reality. So if you want to make a difference to the average, average job, what can I do today? You need to think about what can you do to this kind of different motivations what they might have. Sorry, this is in Finnish. I didn't have no time to translate it. Uh, this is about uh, the energy consumption here. So interesting is first of all the split of the uh, consumption. Heating is the majority. And second interesting thing is that average consumption per square meter in Finland is higher in, in flats if you compare them, them to one family house. And why is this possible? And why is the reality? It's because in, in a flat building you cannot actually do anything. You don't know how much you spent, first of all, and you cannot do anything to it. But if you want, could do it, or in, in a one family house when you can do it, where should you start? It's not from the lights, lights maybe. Because if you save 10% there, it doesn't pay you back. If you can save here 10%, it might make a difference also uh, to, to your emissions, but as well to your bank account. So what, is, what, is the, what are the solutions in general about how to save energy? First of all, we need real-time consumption information so that we know and it's not only the end customers, it's as well the real estate owners and, and business owners. They should know, first of all. Second, optimize. It's actually uh, easy to save energy if you plug all the heating off. You save a lot. But actually, it's about optimizing the consumption to, to your lifestyle. And there's actually a lot of potential in optimizing. Third, this is uh, really important from the uh, production side. Uh, how to manage the load so that it matches the uh, production. Windmills will actually produce a lot of energy in the future. But it will produce it during the time when somebody doesn't want to use it and vice versa. So you need to make sure that the consumption curve and the production curve somehow match. So it's about managing the, uh, the load. 
And what about future solutions? Um, sorry about the bad spelling. So what, where do we come in? This used to be, uh, started the development in Nokia, it used to be Nokia smart home program and home control center device. It's a small computer you install in the building, in the home. You connect it with your different energy meters. You get the real-time information. You start optimizing different devices and the consumption in the home. And you get the real-time pricing information from the markets. And with this, uh, you can really make a difference and save a lot of energy and as well start saving money. And the future looks a little bit maybe better. So this is a very short presentation of the company and the business idea, but let's start it